Well, hello, truth seekers and boat rockers. It's Bobby Faulkner with you once again, deep down in the bunker of rightly dividing the word of truth, along with my beautiful wife, Liz, as always, behind the camera. We are bringing you the unmitigated excellence of the King James Bible, rightly divided. First off, we'd like to say to all of you listening by radio, please take the opportunity to go to our YouTube channel at B-O-B-B-Y-F-A-U-L-K-N-E-R forward slash YouTube. This way, you can see the accompanying videos that go along with this radio broadcast, and you can see for yourself a whole new level of deception that is alive and well in the so-called church today. Also, if you'd like to write us or comment or ask any questions, our email address is Bobby Faulkner, 777 at gmail.com. Today we will continue our exposing of Satan's deceitful workers, false apostles, and of course, the many fake healers that are on the landscape today. These money-grubbing sinister ministers, I like to call them, will do anything and say anything to do just that, get their grubby hands on your money. We're going to start today with a one Juanita Bynum, who along with so-called prophetess Cindy Trim, are just shameless thieves taking people's money. She takes it far over the top of just asking for money. We're the 5,000. If you're 5,000, sometimes we don't go high enough. 10,000. There's two people with 10,000 in here. Could you please move quickly? If you're 10,000, I need you to put your left hand up as you're walking. If you're the 10,000 person, there's one right there. I need the second one. Come celebrate. Now, in this video clip, Juanita Bynum is saying there, there's people designated to give $5,000, two people that are $10,000 givers. This is absolute insanity. Yet they cheer and applaud and are willing to do it. They think it's from God, and they are giving to God, and they're going to be blessed for it. Oh, but that's not enough for Juanita Bynum. If you're the 10,000 person, there's one right there. I need the second one. Come celebrate. And yes, she can get even greedier. 10 minutes. Make sure those checks are saved, sanctified, and filled in the bank. Don't be bouncing every time you become a spiritual extortioner. Once you give a check to a ministry and the check bounces. Because the, 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 the ministry has to pay for a bouncing check. And so you have stolen money from ministries once your church check bounces. One more. Who's the other 10,000? There's one more person. Don't, 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 don't. One more person. And then I just got word from Prophetess that there is one person in here that should be sowing a hundred thousand dollar seed. If you don't have it, that means God ain't talking to you and this would be the right place for you to start shouting. Because you are sending a message in the realm of the spirit that I appreciate thousand dollar seeds. I appreciate a hundred thousand dollar seed. And if you give it to me, I'll give it to you. see the greed and love of money from these types of people? It's just so beyond satanic and despicable using God and his word for their own personal gain. It is absolutely unbelievable that they have no shame whatsoever, no fear of God, whose name they're using to rob people. No fear of God whatsoever. Of course, as usual, the crowd applauds and cheers. Why? Because they drank the Kool-Aid for a long time. They're completely blinded by this. They've been led to believe they are going to receive something as a result of this nonsense. Well, the only ones receiving anything are these lying satanic frauds, the ones that are taking people's money. They are nothing more 
than pulpit pimps, pied pipers of pandering, and to those of you that are willing to hand over your money to all these folks, there's a little theme song maybe you should sing while you're doing it. You should sing a new song as a result of following the liar. Right. I'm going to be robbed today, robbed today. Going to be robbed in church today. Preacher going to duke me like he did last week. Yeah, going to be robbed today. Yeah, robbed today, robbed today. Going to get duped by the preacher today. Going to go to hell when he's done with me. Oh, going to be robbed today. Oh, yes. Our Apostle Paul said to shun profane and vain babblings. Why? Because they lead unto more ungodliness. More ungodliness. Words mean nothing to these frauds unless it's their words, God's words they've twisted, special revelation, anything that profits them in some way. Well, words do mean something. Choose your next words carefully, Leonidas. Oh, I've chosen my words carefully, Persian. Perhaps you should have done the same. Yeah, these charlatans should choose their words wisely as well, but they do not. They throw around the name of Jesus, words from the Bible everywhere, claim the Holy Spirit working in these things, anything and everything just carelessly to get people to buy into their false gospel and made up stories. That's why our Apostle Paul warned us, the things these frauds do always are going to appear godly, sound godly, but in reality, they are exactly what Satan wants, people being turned from God's word, rightly divided. Here's a little more calmer version of begging for people's money from Todd White. This thing is powerful. Help us right now to empower a generation to actually rise up to the call, which is actually the call to be on their knees in the secret place, but actually to go out of the secret place with the Father present with them everywhere they go, destroying lies, dispelling darkness, casting out devils, seeing the sick healed, the blind see, the deaf hear, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. If God is provoking your heart and he has spoke to you to sow a seed and you'd like to help us financially, I'm going to encourage you to go to our website, lifestylechristianity.com backslash impact. And that will help us to know the seed that you're going to sow. It's easy to see how those forerunners of fakery we spoke of in our last, last broadcast had such an influence over people like Todd White and so many others. They paved the way for them. People like Oral Roberts, who many of you may remember back in 1987, he made an appeal for $8 million within three months or God would take him home. Yeah, the God of his own making. He solicited his supporters for cash to save him. My soul's at stake. I may lose my soul. I know I will if I disobey God. And in 1987, he predicted God would bring him home to heaven if he failed to raise $8 million to support his struggling City of Faith Medical and Research Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I need some very quick money so I'll know when March comes, I won't be taken. I'll get to live. Maybe they should have let him go, which wouldn't have happened anyway. It was just a ploy, a made-up story. Maybe then, at least though, multitudes of people would have been able to hold on to their money. By the way, that campaign raised over $9 million. So obviously, God did not take Oral home. What a shyster. He's no better than his buddy, Kenneth Copeland. God will make you rich. How long? Yeah, this has been going on for a very, very long time. These charlatans have taught people that they can have what they say, they can name it and claim it, blab it and grab it, however you want to say it, but the only one who's getting rich are these shysters. There are so many things that they lie about, it's hard to keep up with all the lies. Here's Kenneth Copeland saying that Jesus was born again. And guess who's in the front row watching him? Good old Todd White. One! One! One born again human being defeated all of hell! You 
You see, that's why we say words mean nothing to them unless they make them up. It's their stories. They are beyond careless with God's holy word. The madness is simply incredible that people have chosen to believe, like in this next clip with Kenneth Hagin. This is so beyond sad. It's absolutely unbelievable. It should be shocking to us. It's satanic madness that people fall for these things. How deceived must you be to be a part of this and even believe that this type of thing is, is of God? And take note that the fellows that are holding up Kenneth Hagin and walking around with him, they seem to be unaffected by this chaos. How is that? Well, that's because it's a false anointing that he claims that apparently doesn't affect the ushers, just the thousands of people in the crowd that are caught up in the frenzy, going crazy. Why? People are easily incited, and it gives them a license to act like fools with this kind of thing. The madness in this video clip goes on for at least 13 minutes. We've chosen to just show a couple of portions of it. I feel better now. Ooh. Well, just one dose of the Holy Ghost is not enough for me. Just one dose of the Holy Ghost is not enough for me. Yeah, buddy, there's a spirit at work, all right, but it's definitely not the Holy Spirit. I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brother. Believing in that nonsense from Kenneth Hagin, it's no different than what Todd White displays here in his fake healing. Which leg is short? Come here. Let's throw in your back out. Wait. The left one, right? It's at least an inch short, right? Yeah. If I broke it. You broke it and they yeah. put it back together and they didn't yeah. put all the pieces back. Yeah, I broke it. You ready to get a piece? Yeah, yeah watch. Daddy, well, thank you. In Jesus' name. Left leg, I command you grow. You right now, that? in Jesus' name. <laughs> Daddy, thank you, Todd White says. Besides what should be the obvious, the fake leg growing technique, people, you can sit down 
put your legs out straight, make one of your legs look shorter than the other. Guaranteed, do it, try it. With your legs completely straight, you can do this. Move your feet at angles and make them look different and out of whack. But why is it? With the video camera always rolling for people like Todd, there's never any people that are crippled up in a wheelchair that get up and walk away. It's always back pain or a leg short. Why? Because Todd White is a phony lying charlatan. Here's a little more of his fake healing. And the hits just keep on coming. Okay. Do you have anything physically that gives you any trouble? At all? Bad. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, wow. So is it hurt right now? Like when you're moving around? A little bit. So like if God healed it, you'd know right away? Dude, God will take that from you right now. Yeah, come on. I'm he so serious, man. Guys so much. Come on, man. Let us pray for you. Okay, let me see your hand. What's your name? DeAndre. DeAndre. Mm -hmm. DeAndre, you're amazing, man. You are. You yeah. have amazing purpose, dude. <laughs> you're amazing. Father, I thank you for DeAndre in Jesus' yeah. name. Back, I command you right now in Jesus' name. Let him go. Every bit of pain, let him go. Every muscle, every tendon. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name. Every disc right now. Let him go. Man, I'm hearing this. You get back pain all the time. You get a constant, it's a constant. Now, here he is along with one of the head witches in the pulpit, Patricia King, with these two young men on the street. And of course, it's the back pain thing again. The back pain, it's always the back pain. Todd tells the young man he's amazing and that he has an amazing purpose. And you know this how, Todd? Oh yeah. I forgot. You get special revelation from God and words of knowledge. Personally, he talks to you because you're his boy. So Todd commands things to leave this young man, which isn't going to happen. And Todd says to the kid, I'm hearing this. You see, Todd, again, believing that he's hearing things from God. He tells this young man, I'm hearing you get back pain all the time. Really, Todd? God is giving you this special revelation, is he? People continue to believe this type of garbage. <laughs> you know, Jesus loves you so much. That's really good. He healed you because he loves you. He loves you, man. <laughs> he loves you uncontrollably, man. Can I ask you a question? What did it feel like to, to have God heal your hand? After you punched someone in the forehead. <laughs> and God didn't say, I can't believe you. He said, I love you. Come on. Boom. You know, and I feel, feel the Lord saying he just wants to be a father to you. He's got protection over you. What do you think of that? Now, Patricia King, one of Todd's mentors there, right there with him laughing and telling this kid, Jesus loves you and kind of chuckling about it, just cavalier. What about the preaching of the gospel that saves? How about that? Since this kid nor anyone can be saved unless they believe in the gospel of our salvation, how is it what they are doing is doing anything? It is not. It's not doing a thing. She tells this kid, I hear him saying he wants to be a father to you and he's got protection over you. Patricia hears from God too. I mean, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, man? What, are you kidding me? You're kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Are you kidding me? I mean, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me, right? Are you kidding me? This guy, are you kidding me? 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 Are you kidding me or what? You've gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Jeez, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. No, the sad part is they are not kidding. They obviously believe their own lies. They are, as scripture says, they are deceived and deceiving. But again, it appears godly. It appears like God's doing these things, the Holy Spirit. It's absolutely satanic is what it is. Then this meaningless prayer that she prays over this young man. Yeah, man. You want to feel happy inside? Oh, yeah. Can I pray for you? Yeah. Father, I just pray for your joy you, Jesus. to fill him now. And for Thank all you, the Lord. tension and the fear and the anger to leave his heart now, in Thank Jesus' you, name, and for your joy to bubble up on the inside. Amen. How's that yeah. feel? Do you see why we do these broadcasts exposing these lies? There are multitudes of people falling for this type of garbage. 
from these types of people. They're fakes and frauds, deceitful workers. And Todd, telling this group of young people a bunch of nonsense, telling them they are called to do stuff. Wouldn't they like to do stuff? Well, we wish that stuff you're talking about, Todd, including the preaching of the gospel of salvation. Here's the deal. You're called to a generation of radical followers of Jesus that don't like just go to church on Sunday, but you do the stuff, man. Don't you want to do the stuff? Don't you want to see miracles and signs and wonders like every day? Wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't that be neat to like have a buddy or have a friend that is totally messed up and you say, listen, I know what God did for me and I want to pray for you. And then all of a sudden, God heals them through you because you're a Christian. You're a vessel for God to flow through. I see a radical generation of people that are going to rise up and be the church that God's called us to. You see, Todd lying to this group of young people here that they can see miracles, signs, and wonders happen every day. That has zero to do with anyone today, period. That's not from our dispensation. That was for people back before the cross, the kingdom message to Israel from Jesus and the 12, after the cross for a short period of time by our apostle Paul, till the canon was complete and the church was established, and also in the, in the ages to come for believing Israel when they go through the tribulation. That's when Mark 16 and 17 and 18 will happen that these signs will follow them that believe, that's for them. These false doctrinal claims and lies that Todd White and Patricia King speak, it just feeds their egos. It looks great on camera. Again, it always sounds godly, looks godly. They say all the right words, all the Christianese. But, and it makes this group of young people feel like something's been accomplished, something's happened. Well, what it is, it's, it's giving them a false hope. Their eternity is still not secure because they did not hear the gospel that saves. Just being exposed to Todd White and Patricia King's nonsense, that won't cut it. Any of us are only saved by believing in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ for forgiveness of sins, which the Bible states is the gospel of our salvation. But you see, Patricia King is more interested in lies like this. Um, it's just amazing what God is doing. And this is going to accelerate and increase. So get ready to be empowered for the supernatural. And I want to pray for all of you right now who need a miracle of healing in your bodies, minds, or emotions. We've been seeing God literally deliver people from emotional and mental disorders. I mean, in fact, one of the girls at our uh, restoration house who came through the restoration house uh, gave a testimony, it's online, um, concerning her deliverance from schizophrenia. And she's off all of her drugs, everything. And she is of a sound mind. It's amazing what God did. And he can do it for you, no matter what your situation is. So in the name of Jesus Christ, right now, we release the power of God for healing. In the name of Jesus, I command healing to minds, healing to emotions, healing to the bodies in Jesus' name. Someone is watching that has a liver condition, a very serious liver condition. In the name of Jesus, I speak reversal right now. And I speak death to every, every work of the enemy within that liver and the bloodstream in Jesus' name. You're feeling a heat go through your body right now. And that's the, the healing power of Jesus Christ. Someone has been recently diagnosed with cancer in the name of Jesus. We curse every cancer cell in your body and command you to be a cancer-free zone in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I command bursitis in the shoulder to be loosed right now. Come out right now in Jesus' name. All that bursitis, all that inflammation, go now in the name of Jesus. Your, your shoulder, start to move it, start to move it. There you go. You can start to feel the difference already. That's because the bursitis left because we commanded it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This, that's simply hocus-pocus witchcraft nonsense. It's no better than a witch doctor or a shaman. You know, technology is a wonderful thing, but it doesn't give us the ability or license to look into a camera and start naming off things that are allegedly going to just fall off of people, that are just going to go away from them, that they'll be magically healed by Patricia King and her special anointing looking into the video camera, calling out various ailments. We cannot speak over anything to be healed, and, and we can't command anything to go or anything to be fixed, not in Jesus' name, not in any name. It does not matter. We cannot do that. 
That is not for this dispensation. Yet multitudes of people are following people like Patricia King and Todd White, Todd Bentley, Rick Joyner, Benny Hinn, Kenneth Copeland, Paula White, and the list goes on. Now, we'd like to, on the flip side, recognize on this particular radio station, there are some great teachers of right division, like Trey Searcy, Steve Atwood, Richard Jordan, and others, and we are grateful to have the privilege of being on this radio station to share what we can about rightly dividing and, of course, exposing these charlatans that are out there. They've been lying to people and filling their head with these lies for years and years. Their mouths must be stopped, as it says in Titus chapter 1, verse 11. For those of you that don't think that what we're doing here is loving, marking those that cause divisions as our Apostle Paul commanded us, that outright lie about God's word, well, ask yourself, what really is loving people? Telling them whatever they want to hear or telling them the truth of God's word, rightly divided? We'll go with number two there. We're going to stop here for today. We'll be back again next time, exposing Satan's ministers of righteousness. We certainly appreciate you taking your valuable time to listen by radio and watch on YouTube. And again, for those of you listening by radio, you can go to B-O-B-B-Y F-A-U-L-K-N-E-R forward slash YouTube. Also, you can write us at Bobby Faulkner 777 at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Please let us know what you think. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Happy trails.